are having some problems with your mother-in-law and it can be really tough. It's hard to work it through because that's your mother-in-law. Mother you want things to be right. Yeah. But some, one of our friends, Lisa's, had a lot of problems. We got this message from Brooke. Yes. She says, Brooke says, I've got a situation. Hmm. My mother-in-law is the third wheel in my marriage. Mm. She complains to my husband and is trying to turn him against me. Yeah. Every time I talk to him about it, he says, I'm overreacting. Oh. What do I do? Yes, that's a problem, you know, because mother-in-laws are there and they're there to stay. I stopped dating a guy when I, his mother was overbearing and I was like, I will never be the number one person in his life. I couldn't have a relationship because like how, she... In what ways was she, was she overbearing? She, she was, it was always bring me something from the store. We would be out on dates. She'd be like, come home and bake a cake. Wait, he was a really to good you? baker. No, to him. Tell him to come home and bake a cake? Bake a cake. <laughs> that bake is, a cake. Okay, wait a minute. Was that her way of sabotaging your date? Yes. Like, be like, come on, don't touch that girl. Come home and bake a cake. <laughs> yes. You want something to do with your hands? I'll give you something to do with your hands. <laughs> Cook, cook your mama something. Clean the yard. Move yes. along. You don't be touching that girl. <laughs> yeah. And, and my grandmother... That is really freaky. It's really freaky. And my grandmother was a pill, too, to my mother. So, oh, tell me about to Grandma Grandma yeah. Callier. Yeah, Grandma Callier. My grandmother had a, a building that we all lived in. It was six apartments, and we lived mistake. on the second floor above her when I was born. That's a mistake. And apparently my grandmother would come up because she had keys to the apartment, oh. and she would let herself in, and my mother would be cooking dinner, and she'd be like... Frank don't like that. You can't make it like that. That's not how he likes it. Here, let me show you. Like, every <laughs> night. <gasps> oh. My mother was like, I got to get out of here. I got to go. I got to get out of here. <laughs> See, you know it's bad when you'll give up free rent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We were like, I can live for free or get away from this woman. Oh, my goodness. Oh I my will goodness. pay all the money I have. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think for me, from my point of view, I think that, here's the deal, you're an adult, right? And mm -hmm. I think that when you're in a relationship, you have the right to demand that you have adult relationships with people. So I know it's hard to not have the spouse involved, but I think as much as possible, I would say like, don't complain to that person. Yeah. You know, don't complain to your partner, but like, talk to the mother-in-law. And there, hey, I don't have one. How many of you guys, how many in the crew, anybody got mother-in-law problems? Yeah. Clap if you do. Oh. Don't turn the camera. Don't turn the camera so nobody Dang. can see. I don't oh, think that's, that's everybody. Wow. That's everybody. You're not even married. Yes. I don't know what <laughs> you're doing. Just yes. 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 Yeah, it's it, it never, how about father-in-law? Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we wanted to find out if, if there were any other people out there having problems with their mother-in-laws. And surprise! There were. Take a look. The thing that drives me crazy about her, so she lives alone, so she has to do her own dishes and clean up after herself. So I don't know why when she comes to my house, she expects me to wait on her. She leaves her cups, her plates, everything everywhere. She like puts her laundry in the bin, so I'm doing her laundry. I'm like, I become her maid. Okay, you know what? Ooh. I want to apologize now because I was going to critique her mm -hmm. for the whole mother, like not, because I do think when you have, she's company, right. you know, and she's family company. So yeah, I get your, she, you know, picking up the glasses, but laundry? Yes. Well, you know no, what? No, you don't bring over chores. No, 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 no. <laughs> and also, I'm not your child. Okay. okay, okay. You better get your your son to go do that and clean your laundry. I I hate that. And I want women in the room uh, to, to ask me, I want to know, I feel like women in relationships, they end up having to bear the total responsibility for relationships with a family. If, applaud if you agree with me, if you Yes. know that that happens. Yes. Like, it's true. Like, when, when the mother has a problem with her son, she takes it out on the daughter-in-law. Yes, absolutely. You know, or with the father, he takes it out on the, you know, vice versa. Yeah. And it's, you know what, and it's not, the, you know, the, the spouse's fault. Because there was a whole relationship there way before I stepped in there. Okay? Okay. Exactly. But, but I am lucky. I have very good in-laws, all right? She does. I do, I do. They, they, they're they sweet and lovely, and they do genealogy. They got hobbies. They do have hobbies. They make quilts. It's crazy. And they never bring over their trash for you to throw out. No, they don't. They don't. Or things like that. Well, we went on Facebook and asked our Frangelistas, uh, what advice would you give a new bride or groom on how to deal with nightmare in-laws? And here's what you said. It's kind of funny. Mark said, practice your calm. Mm -hmm. Nothing will ever change them. Yeah. There's something sad about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Please just, just accept it. I know. And I love Laura agreed with you. She said, don't complain to your spouse about them. Your spouse loves them. That's good information. Yeah, don't talk about my mama. Right? Don't talk about my mama. Okay, she did bring over her laundry, but don't talk about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, you don't need to be talking about it. <laughs> well, we know you could probably use some tips on how to deal with your difficult mother-in-law. Uh, Angela and I have a few to share, all right? Just a few. Yes. And we're gonna put these up on the Fringe Me time mm -hmm. so you can check them out. But, like, invite her Spend to cook a time meal. with her. Yes! You know, get to know her as an adult. Try to develop your own relationship with her independent of your spouse, if at all possible. And if not, draw some boundaries. Yes. Me Time with Frangela 